Atmosis, it would appear, for Korea Republic. Plenty of time, though, for the Asians to get back into this one. 21 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Korea still to have a shot on goal, be it on or off target. Nizak Boy spotted the run of Madhu. Nicely brought down under control. Michael. Madhu. Now a Corey. Agboy. Shehu. Looking over to this near side towards Gero again, but doesn't reach him. It's well cut out by Kim Young Won. edition of the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. As we said, 33, 36 years ago today, competition actually started in Tunisia. Joe Havalange, the then FIFA president, had a vision to bring youth football very much to the fore, and it's been continued, of course, by his successor, Sepp Blatter, with his Under-20 and Under-17 tournaments coming every two years, and the cream of young talent getting a chance to play on a big stage and go on to bigger and better things. That'll be a foul on Kingsley Madu, which has given a free kick to... Nigeria right on the edge of the penalty area. I think there's one thing coaches don't just tell young players don't dive in, particularly when the shot when the chance is within shooting range. And that's what happened there. Madu going down. Been an exciting addition to the side, Madu. Great at defending, but loves to get forward, as you've seen on plenty of occasions. He's moved away, and Ajigun, one of two over the free kick. Abadulai Shehu also there as well. Ajigun shaping as if he might curl this one in. Goalkeeper trying to keep the left-hand top corner covered. Ajigun goes near post over the wall and did well to get the ball up and down from there, but off target. Very flat, just over the top of the wall, and well, it was well wide in the end, to be fair, from that angle. Not a bad effort, though, from Achikun. Can't play in the centre of midfield or out on the left. Clearance by Michael. That's a hefty fall from Song Ju Hun. And flying over the top to head that one away over Salis Ogeru. He might need some treatment here. Really painful one the way he landed. That could have been really nasty. Need a little bit of treatment. Garrett probably knew that Song Ju Hun was coming behind him, knew he would win the throw. But a treatment here for their career. 25 minutes gone in the first half. No Asian side has taken part in as many under 20 World Cups as Korea. Sixth appearance in a row. Only Australia and Spain are the teams that are here have appeared in more finals. Another look at the goal from a different angle again. Kyoto completely unmarked, and when they look back at the DVDs of the game, I'm sure Lee Kwang Jong, the Korean coach, will be pointing out the failings of his defenders to mark. Both these teams actually played in the Toulon tournament ahead of this in France. Neither had the best of times, really. Nigeria beaten by Mexico, drew with Belgium, drew with Brazil, which was their most creditable result before losing to Portugal. Finished fourth in their six-team group and failed to qualify for the latter stages. Well, Korea will temporarily be down to ten, while well, Song Ju Hun gets a little bit more treatment.
nodded on by Kim Hyun. Kang Sang Woo. The players going down all over the place at the moment. The referee's given the decision the way of Nigeria. Looks like Song Ju Hun is okay to come back on again. inside the stadium just picking up a little bit which will swirl around and maybe make the long balls quite difficult really is a fantastic stadium this is the new Galatasaray arena Turkey of course have an Olympic bid in at the moment which means they're refurbing a lot of their stadiums we were in Bursa yesterday at the Ataturk stadium which is being rebuilt just by the hotel that we're staying in as well Besiktas which is in the centre of Istanbul also being refurbished at the moment Really will be some spectacular stadiums. Turkey will find out early in September if it's been successful in its bid to host the 2020 Olympics. This will certainly be one of the more prominent stadiums used for the football tournament. Nigeria still lead them by a goal to nil. Coyote's goal separating the two sides. Kang Sangwu loses possession. Picked up again though by Kim Sunwoo. Now Lee Chang Min. Kim Sunwoo. Laid off by Cho Shuk Jay. They can't find a way through the last line of Nigerian defence at the moment. I think that the goalkeeper Samuel Okani has touched the ball maybe a couple of times in the first half. It's always been stamped out before it's got to him. Random Nigerian supporters have made their way into the corner of the stadium. Green and white flags waving, their side leading by a goal to nil. That's given away clumsily, chance here for Michael. Had to skip around a challenge, did well. Still the chance has not gone as yet and Lee Chung Quen, the captain, makes a good save. Gathered in by the goalkeeper. Nigeria leading by a goal to nil. Coyote's goal, little back header, coolly done from Ndidi, back to his goalkeeper. Now career with a chance maybe to get forward. Kim Hyun challenged before he can cause any damage inside the penalty area. Song Ju Hun. Again, the lone player forward was Kang Sang Woo. It was comfortable for Samuel Okani to gather. Here's Ajigun. Try to pick out the run of Kayode. Goes behind for a corner off Kim Jong Won. Seventeen times Brazil have appeared in the finals. Fourteen Spain. of the Korea Republic not too far behind in their participation yet to win it though now, can the Koreans get their marking sorted out from the corner Ajikan delivers comes off Kim Hyun and goes behind for another corner goalkeeper looked to have been fouled there in a crowd of players 
a look here to see who actually caught goalkeeper. There's the header in the air from Kim Hyun, which caused the problems, and it was just the number two, Oyindi Ndidi, backing into the goalkeeper that caused him the issue. Goalkeeper's okay. Well, Korea still waiting to have their first corner. Nigeria with a chance to put some more pressure on the Korean defence. Off they go in different directions in the centre once again. As headed back across goal by Shehu and just over the top. It's a good initial header by Akori. And have a do like Shehu. Couldn't get over the ball to get the downward force on the header. There's the first header from Akori. And the follow up from Shehu just over the top. Of course, plenty of problems with these set pieces in the first half. That's better movement this time from Cho Suk Jae, who wins the corner. Just wriggle free there, the number 19. One of the university players from Conbuk University. All these players, of course, just setting out on what they hope when they finish uni will be a career in the K-League in Korea, or maybe one or two moving over to Japan and the J-League. Here's Ri Sung Woo. What a great delivery, it was easily cleared by Michael. Coyote brought it down nicely. Wayward pass that will be comfortable for the goalkeeper. Biggest win of the tournament so far was Spain's victory over the USA here on the opening day back on the 21st of June. It's just a week ago now, or just under a week ago. Nigeria equaled the winning margin, beating Cuba by three goals to nil. Turkey beat El Salvador by the same 3 0 scoreline. In Plenty of goals in the groups. I'm pleased to say there hasn't been a goalless draw as yet. Apart from Mali against Greece, which wasn't the best game in the world, but both those sides still in with a chance. Greece in their first competition. Mali, of course, representing the African nation. Certainly there have been plenty of goals in this group in the four matches played so far. 15 in four matches. You see the styles that both teams play, that they want to get forward, particularly the Nigerians. Not too far away on possession at the moment. Still Korea haven't had a shot on goal, though. 35 minutes gone in the first half. Final and the third place match we played here in this stadium Saturday the 13th of July fortnight this weekend all forward angled in towards Coyote again goalkeeper was off his line quickly Kang Sang Woo Lee Chang Min on by Kim Yong Won. Well, turned off by Kim Hyun, but straight to the defender. Here's Kim Yong Won again. Well, it's just a white wall in front of him. Three players just seem to appear from nowhere. Good ball over the top. This is Coyote. Just forced out wide. Still gets there first and got the shot back across goal. And onto the roof of the net from Coyote. Well, what persistence that was. He looked as though the chance had gone as Song Ju Hun forced him out wide but he wrapped a foot around the ball and he wasn't too far over the bar. Didn't quite sit down for him in the first instance, but just nipped in front of the defender and almost got the target. Good effort for the Flying Eagles, as they're known. 
the shot count increases in Nigeria's favour. Kim Yong won with a throw. Again, they'll be disappointed not to have maintained possession. They're giving the ball away cheaply and conceding a throw. That fourth place finish in Mexico in 1983. The Koreans edged out 2-1 by Brazil in the semis. Conceded a goal nine minutes from time in that one. Looked as though they were heading for extra time then. Lost out the third place match to Poland. Certainly it's really helped to elevate Korean football. Ogboi. Korean national team have just named a new coach, in fact, Hong Myungbo. Famous player from their past taking charge. Song Ju Hun. Given away quite cheaply again. Could be the game's first yellow card. Aminu Umar, the player fouled, and Lee Chang Min goes into the book. He was actually on a yellow card, so he will miss the next match should the Korea Republic progress to the last 16. It was a clumsy challenge. Umar was away over on that far side. Maybe a little frustration creeping into the Korea Republic's play there as they. Just not able to break down Nigeria in the final third. Samuel Lakhan, he's been a virtual spectator, the Nigeria goalkeeper in the first half. Away by Kim Young won Gero. Now Ri Sung Wei. Might get a second chance, just got the ball cut under his feet and it was stabbed away by Michael. Let go by Kayode to Salisu Geru. Now chase on here for Kim Hyun, but indeed he was a quickly across to head the ball away for a throw in on the far side. Still, they can't get the ball into the danger area to find a, a red shirt. That appointment of Hong Myung Bo as the new coach. After they just about scraped through into the World Cup in Brazil next year. Chung Kang Hee quit as coach last week, despite the fact his side had qualified. Wonder whether any of these young players will be in line for a place in 2014. Maybe a little too soon for them. Possibly in Russia in 2018, they might be considered. They've 
Got themselves a corner here as they try to get back into the match. Three minutes to go in the first half. Nigeria lead by a goal to nil. Olerin Wayu Kayode with the only goal of the game so far. Here comes the corner from Kim Sun Wu. No real elevation on it. It was aimed towards Yon Jae Min, but he couldn't get the header. Now Kayode. Great pace and determination. Michael's waiting in the centre. Well, he goes down under the challenge of Kang Sang Wu. That will be another free kick, and that will also be a yellow card. Second yellow card of the game, and second in quick succession for the Koreans. Similar position to the free kick which Nigeria scored from after nine minutes. It'll be a similar delivery, I would imagine, from Abdul Adjigan. Korea conceding the more fouls. They've yet to give a free kick away, Nigeria. Quite remarkable in the 43rd and 30, 34th minute, even. Watch the runners in the centre for Nigeria. This is where Coyote got away from his marker the last time. Ajikan once again. Korea dealt with it on that occasion. Shehu. Now you, Magbori. Back to Agboi. Nodded down by Kang. Now Kim Hyun. Kang Sang Woo. Well, he's onside here. One waiting in the centre. Ri Sung Woo. Well, pulls it back to Kim Sun Woo, who couldn't get the shot in. Good defending again by Nigeria. And then a foul by Kim Sun Woo. Currently studying at Olsen University. There's the foul on Amanu. Amanu Umar. To give him his full title two minutes to be added at the end of the first half that injury to the Korean goalkeeper Lee Chan Kuen just was in the addition. Can Korea get themselves level in the added time? Kang Sang Woo shimmies on the edge of the penalty area. Oh, misunderstanding again as Cho Suk Jae tried to play the ball into the corner. Plenty of emotion around on the pitch and on the sidelines. Both coaches will get the chance to say their piece to their players in a moment or so's time. Acrobatically cleared by Coyote. Kim Sun Woo. 